For a bush camp, this private site had pretty good facilities. Check out the loo. It didn't have a door, but had everything else, including a flush toilet and a fantastic view. The shower comes complete with hot water. That is after you lit the fire under the donkey. It has no doors, so that one can shower with nature. Now that's impressive. Here we are breaking camp for the last time before heading to Kings Canyon, which is about 36 kilometers away. For those wishing to walk around the top of Kings Canyon, this is the way up and often referred to as Hard Tack Hill. Back at the canyon we are presented one of the prettiest and peaceful walking tracks which follows the path made by the Kings Creek. The canyon is home to many species of birds, small animals and reptiles as well as the numerous wildflower species which line the path. The colours of the rock formations are spectacular, with fiery reds burning in the vivid sunlight. At the end of the track is a rest area and lookout, which gives one a close look at the canyon's steep smooth walls. The abundance of spectacular wildflowers were the highlight of the journey through Kings Canyon. Survival of the fittest. This small tree, no taller than a soft drink can, seemed to be thriving in the middle of the creek amongst the rocks. With Kings Canyon long behind us, sees us back at Mount Ebenezer Roadhouse. Two days ago when we were here last, there was water everywhere, even across the road. A special thank you goes to Belinda from Way Out Back Desert Safaris for looking after so well and being such a good slave.